Hello and welcome to the British Dapper and today we're looking at using a pocket square. So when it comes to wearing a suit, um, most people will wear a tie, the shirt obviously, but uh, they're a little bit reluctant to wear a pocket square. Now that could be for a number of reasons, it could be because they're embarrassed, uh, they lack the self-confidence or they don't understand how to do it to make it look effective uh, or they've just never been in surroundings with other people that wear them like that. So today here we're looking at how we can give somebody a little bit more information about how to wear a pocket square and how to wear it effectively. So pocket squares, historically they have been called handkerchiefs and most people will relate to their grandparents or their, even their parents using a handkerchief to uh, carry around on them. Now, um, it's very easy to use them in a formal setting, but in a more relaxed and informal setting, we tend to use what's called a pocket square, which is basically a strip of material in this case, we have uh, a yellow and blue striped pocket square. And all it is, is a strip of material. They come in different, uh, different materials. For example, you've got silk, you've got, these are all silk ones. You'll notice the different colors edging as well. And also the material itself is uh, gives a high shine on the silk ones. You also have cotton. Cotton's very effective. It's a very nice material and it's more of a matte finish so you don't get that high shine which is quite good. You also have them in wool. This one here is in a very fine woven wool. Um, they come in satin finish or patterned finish. Personally, I like paisleys because you get a multitude of colors which helps you coordinate them with your tie. And also we have pocket squares with uh, polka dots, checks, fine micro patterns on them. For example, here we have a gold one and a blue one here is a red with some other colours in it. Now these pocket squares, some of them you will find when you buy a tie, you'll get a pocket square with it. Now I'd always try and advise, if you've got a few like that, mix the actual pocket squares up. Don't wear them with the same tie. The idea of a pocket square is that it is separate and it complements the tie it's not the same pattern as the tie. So for example, if for any reason you've been given a packet full of handkerchiefs, don't dismiss them. Maybe you might be able to make good use of them. So for a pocket square, there are obviously different things we can look for in a pocket square besides the materials. We can also look at different sizes. When it comes to matching or trying to complement the tie, uh, for example, this pocket square here is made out of 100% wool. It's a very fine weave pattern, gives quite a matte finish. But in this pocket square, there are some uh, reds, some blacks, some creams and whites, and some greys. Now that complements the tie because in the tie we've got some reds, some black crosses and some little white marks in it as well. The suit is grey so that is picked up in the grey in here as well. So that's how we tie them together. So for example if we had a purple tie we might use this one here because this one 
has some purple mauve colours in it and if you've got something very similar for example the white shirt to go with this then this will pull it together it won't be exactly the same as the tie but it will complement it okay now there is another way of doing things as well you can have just a solid color it's quite bright but if you were to match these together with another color as an example and we pull them together you can get a different effect as I'm wearing here so when it comes to actually wearing a pocket square there are different patterns we can do so when it comes to wearing a suit for formal events then you could do something like this this is called a square fold uh, it's a very plain white handkerchief and a very straightforward fold and it just brings out a little bit of contrast in the suit and you'll notice the color of the actual handkerchief is the same color as the shirt so I tend to find if I wear a blue shirt then I might change this for a blue handkerchief square fold instead but the principle is the same very simple all we do we take our handkerchief we fold it into quarters and then I use a piece of card the reason why this card is cut in such a way is that I know that it will fit into a pocket so whenever I use that as a template it's easier to fold up the pocket square or the actual handkerchief so for example if I fold it over then fold it across there we have the square fold and I know if I put that into the pocket it will fit exactly nice crisp straight line across the top so that's one method the square fold the other one which is very common is called the ambassador fold so this is a little bit different I'll use this handkerchief okay you'll notice that this one has been folded into threes so it's been folded once twice and we're in a position then to actually make the fold so in this case it's folded over again so when we do this we know that it's going to fold over pull the card out fold it over and in this case it folds over and it goes in the top pocket again and uh, here's an example now as you can see here the uh, white ambassador fold is used in a formal setting um, and with the uh, square fold here's an example of that and as you can see they are very similar but they are very formal looking uh, for a business outfit they're ideal so another version that we can do is called the triangle and that is simply using the handkerchief again use your template and uh, all we're doing is we're folding it over
pull it out, fold it over, and there we have a triangle, and that will then show just a small part above the pocket square. So if we pull this one out, as an example, and we use this one, And, uh, and here we have a triangle. I personally prefer uh, uh, the ambassador fold or the square fold. Another thing we can do is when it comes to informal, um, informal patterns or designs, then they're so much easier to do in a sense because they are informal and therefore not regular in the way that they are put together. So, for example, in this case, if we use um, this pocket square as an example, you simply pinch it in the middle and pull it through the fingers, turn it over, and there we have a pocket square ready to go put it in the pocket, pull it out, and it's ready to go. It's very straightforward. Um, and because it's informal and it's irregular, it, you don't have to worry about it being slightly off because nobody will really know us. Uh, the other thing you can do is you can turn it up the other way and use the other end of the pocket square and you just have what's called a puff ball and that's another way of doing it or you can use a similar method where we pull it through and then I tend to uh, hold it over to the side. Sorry. That way. And uh, there we go. So they're very easy to do. And uh, if they get knocked around a little bit or pulled out of shape, they're easily adjusted and put back into place. So a pocket square. It's all about confidence. I would suggest if you're going to start off by wearing one, then use a very simple square fold and see how you feel with that. Then maybe change the colours that you're using in the actual fold. Then start off with something quite subtle um, and then build from there. For example, this is a good one to start with. If you're wearing a blue tie, it's got a slight sheen to it. And you can see it is actually a black and blue paisley square. Here's another one, a red and black paisley square. And then we start getting into coppers and black. And just build from there. Uh, polka dots, they're very good. And black polka dots are even, they're very easy to use. If you're wearing a black tie, just wearing one of these is going to give you a completely different look. Some patterns have alternative patterns on the other side. So when you use those and pull them together, you get an effect where you start seeing the other colours coming in behind it.
and that can be quite a good effect as well. So it's just a short video just to say try it, don't be afraid to do it and you will actually be quite surprised how many people give you compliments on the way you look just by changing that pocket square to complement the tie that you're wearing. So if you've got a favourite design that you use or pattern that you use for your pocket square then uh, why not drop it down below let us know. Um, we're always keen to see what other people are doing. So all I would say is they're not expensive they're very cheap to do ranging from pound or so for a handkerchief to uh, 20 pounds 30 pounds for a pocket square if you're talking about real silk uh, what I would say is don't be too hung up on polyester or silk because uh, there's not many people that can spot the difference between silk and polyester at 50 paces so we hope you enjoyed the video if you did give us a thumbs up if you'd like to subscribe then feel free to do so just click on the button and uh, if you want to know more about when our next video is hit the uh, notification bell and uh, we look forward to constructive comments so if you'd like to leave a note down below then uh, we'll take it on board see if we can use it in another video or answer your question so until next time take care